In this video, I will provide you with a detailed design drawing of a wet vented bathroom system from one of the brochures from the 2021 International Plumbing Code. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first section here where we have a toilet here, a toilet here, and a shower here, all connecting laterally to the drain line, which is three inches here, three inches all the way to here, three inches here, and then we're going to connect the shower, which is going to have a two inch drain line. Next up, let's go ahead and head over to the sink and the bathtub, bathtub here, sink, sink. And then I tried to be as accurate as I possibly could with the drawing from the brochure where it has an inch and a half vent line coming out, two inches down here, two inches down here, and then we have an inch and a half line for our bathtub. And some building codes might require this vent to be two inches for the toilets. And even though I'm providing you with this example, it does not mean that this is going to be approved in your area because some of the building codes are a little wacky. Just like I said, this might need to be a two inch line for the vent instead of an inch and a half. And this type of fitting right here might not be approved by some of the other building codes either, even though I don't think you would ever have a problem with this design. And there's a good chance that this fitting right here is going to need to be a double fixture fitting and not a double sandy fitting. Next up, let's go ahead and head over to the reducer. We're going to reduce from a two inch down to a three inch. And you can use this type of a fitting or you can use the flush bushing reducer fitting. And over here we have a three inch Y fitting right here along with a street 45. Next up, let's head over to the 90. And I believe this can be a short 90, but I'm using a long 90 here. And then of course our toilet flange. Go ahead and head over to our shower two inch trap. And then let's head over to where it connects to the drain line. And again, the same fitting for the toilet on the other side. And you can see where all of these are coming in laterally. They're connecting to the side of the drain line here. And that's very important when you're wet venting. And then the two traps that are going to be used for our bathroom lavatories. So we have a two inch line coming up here to a fixture T combo. Inch and a half coming out, inch and a half on the sides, two inches at the bottom. And if you can only find a two inch all hub fitting, all of these are two inches, then you could always use reducers to reduce it down from the inch and a half to the two inch. Next up, let's go ahead and hook our sinks up. And unlike the picture that I got the information from to design this, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of the fixtures. Here's our bathtub and take a look at it from the bottom here. Next up, let's head over to the shower and then take a look at it from another angle. And next up, let's go ahead and hook up our toilets. And I'm not about to suggest that you're going to be able to build something like this where you have a shower in between two toilets. However, these pipes can always be moved a little further down the line or extended in one direction or the other. For example, I could take the shower and flip it over to the other side as long as it connects laterally and do the same with the toilets if I needed to. And like I mentioned, you could always space these a little further apart as long as they do not exceed the maximum distances for the drain and vent connections. And I believe I have another video on that also. So there you have it, an example of a wet vented bathroom system that looks like it would meet the building codes in the 2021 International Building Code Book. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.